Hey everyone, today I want to talk about Michael Jackson's death and I want to express my condolences and talk about, you know, how I felt towards him, like how I liked his music, what I thought he was like as a person without having met him, of course, but yeah. Um, I first of all about the death I found out about it through a friend's status message on MSN and then of course I watched the news and I'm I'm in deep shock I think he was an amazing musician I the first time I saw him live was it was actually my very first concert I went to was at the age of 12 his history tour in Prague he also came to Prague and uh, it was it was just a wonderful concert and after that um, you know he went downhill his music wasn't that good anymore I mean his voice was entirely gone but to me he's one of the or he was one of the most fascinating musicians and an excellent dancer and just a wonderful entertainer and then you had these accusations of him being a pedophile and um, yeah I I must say I never believed a single moment he was a pedophile to be honest I thought he um, in some way, because he got mistreated by his father, he got beaten up, he got forced to grow up quickly. Inside, he always remained a child. And he, um, to some people, it may seem odd that he slept with little kids in the same bed. But look at it this way. Imagine someone is still six years old inside then it's kind of it seems weird to us but it's kind of normal because if you are a kid still if I mean he, he always uh, tried to somehow get back his childhood he, you know by building the Neverland ranch and um, He, he just well, what I also think is that kids don't tend to judge you so much when you're small you just love the people around you you don't say you know he's a freak I won't uh, talk to him and stuff like that you tend to be open and you tend to play with everyone at the playground in most cases and uh, the older you get, the more you start judging the people around you. The more you start, uh, you know, distancing yourself from some people you, you don't really like too much. I think that all what he was seeking was love and um, adults judged him. And that's why he was trying to be with kids because kids don't tend to judge you as I mentioned before and um, I think you, you make the most friendships in your childhood because people are more open and less judgmental what I think traumatized him was not just the fact that his father forced things upon him like he forced um, him to follow the Jehovah's Witnesses who believe in um, you know not having premarital sex for instance but at the same time his father and his brother would sleep with groupies in front of a really young Michael Jackson so I think that kinda had an effect on his psyche and yeah that, that's probably also why he was very reserved sexually and, uh, you know, very shy towards women in general. 
Last but not least, I would like to touch upon two subjects. First of all, uh, the, the tweets on Twitter. Some of you are joking, like one hour after his death, people are posting jokes about his nose or whatever, or uh, him being a pedophile. And without, without having any respect whatsoever, I mean, people, like, come on. Uh, it, it just pisses me off. I'm sorry, but it just pisses me off when I see people doing that. You know, it's not just about you know dealing it dealing with it with humor or whatever it's just a bit tragic michael jackson seemed to be very generous and i think when you're really generous you tend to attract a lot of negative people a lot of people who try to use you and who try to gain as much profit for themselves so None of the kids complained about being with him. Only those whose mothers try to, you know, make money out of the whole thing. And uh, the media just played it up and it ruined his entire reputation. I mean, they didn't really prove that he was a pedophile. So, okay, you might come with the argument that O.J. Simpson's case wasn't proved either but that's another issue but yeah I just don't think he was a pedophile as I said and you can believe in whatever you want I mean it's not like I'm forcing my opinion on you it's just what I think so yeah I just felt like you know talking about it so um, this video is kind of getting long and I see you around. Thanks for watching and yeah, rest in peace, Michael.